Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my Space Engineers Let's Play. This is Season 1, Episode 26, and I've got something cool to show you. You might even be able to see it in this picture. Uh, I actually colored my... I basically put a, two or three pieces on my ship for cosmetics, and I then painted it. And uh, I like the idea of yellow and black, uh, because, I don't know, it kind of seems like... Uh, like a working ship, like uh, something you'd see like maybe on the road. Uh, I don't know. I just thought yellow and black would be cool for a working ship. And you can see right around here. I think it came out pretty decently. You know, I'm, qu I'm a little, I'm pretty happy with it. I also put some stuff on the bottom here, although I didn't. I guess I didn't finish the painting. So let me go ahead and finish that now. There we go. And that side's done. Yeah. So this uh, this ship is officially done. And it still needs a name, so if anyone has any suggestions, you know, let me know. Okay, so with that done, the next order of business is going to be to make our first module ship. Uh, I was going to make both of these modules in the same video, but I think now I'm going to split them up into two separate videos. And uh, I'm going to need a grinder. I'm going to need a medium cargo container. I'm going to need two conveyors. Well, multiple conveyors. I'm going to need connectors, and I'm going to need merging blocks. So let's go right ahead and get this started. Alright. So we start this off as a, as a new small ship, and uh, let's just see what we can do here. <laughs> nope. Yep. Yep. Looking good. Okay. And then right on there. Uh, this landing gear really doesn't mean anything. Uh, it's going to be replaced. I will have landing gear on this, possibly. I haven't really thought about that yet. I'll probably have landing gear on it, but it doesn't matter. Because it won't be this landing gear. Alright, so... We're going to need small steel plate. Wait, small steel plate? That doesn't sound right. Probably just steel plate. Yes, yeah, steel plate. Okay, Cage. Get it together. So we're going to come down here. And hop into our little ship right here. I love this thing. Although you do have to turn the jetpack on because you can't you can't go into a, shi a ship without the jetpack on because then what will happen is you'll leave the ship forgetting your jetpack was on and, you know, hilarity will ensue. Alright, so... Oh, one other thing I wanted to tell you guys about this update that I mentioned last video is that if you go into the options in the beginning, you can have... There's a little box to have you reset everything in the game so you don't have to go through and hack, quote-unquote hack, really, you're grinding down and rebuilding. You don't have to go through and grind down and rebuild everything. I didn't, I totally forgot about that. So, yeah. So when, you, when you're when you first going into your game after this update, although you guys have probably already played since then, but, you know, if you didn't, you can, uh... You can basically just, uh, set it to have everything reset, so you don't have to worry about, you know, stuff not being accessible to you. Alright, so, one there, one there, and one there. Alright, come on, come on, come on, yeah, come on, you can do it. There we go. And behind these are going to be a conveyor. Oh, how's it going to do this? Alright, uh, for the grinders, I actually do want a... No, no. You can't put a medium card container here. You gotta put the conveyors first. So, yeah, conveyor, 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 medium cargo container. It's gotta be facing this way. Like that. And then on the sides, we're also going to need our trusty conveyor frames. So we put the conveyor frames. Uh, in the middle goes the connector. Okay. Yes. Uh, then more conveyor frames. Four. 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 Right? Middle one is the connector, right? Yes. Alright. So right there. And the merging block. And that should be... Come on. There you go. And they are lined up perfectly so that's it man this this module's done i just gotta just gotta craft it <laughs> all right 
All right, let's go ahead and craft it. We're gonna do this in montage, so enjoy the montage. That should be done and in working order. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Now, I've got a problem here. Uh, I really want to do these uh, two modules in different videos. So if this one is completely f complete and working, I'm going to go do something else and then make the uh, the welding module in a different video just because, I don't know, I just don't want to make them the same video. It doesn't really matter. i got plenty of other stuff I can do. So, All right, we do have to finish the landing, the landing gear. Uh, what do I need? One steel plate. Alright. One steel plate, literally. Okay. Oh, another thing is, uh, I wanted to mention, is you guys all, like last video, I asked you to let me know about the time lapse, and... A lot of people like the, the music. I, I, I think way more people like the music than didn't like the music. And the people who didn't, like didn't really care for the music, told me to just turn it down a little bit. So I'm going to actually turn the music down a little bit uh, in this Let's Play and Seven Days to Die. So, and some other people wanted me to switch up the music uh, every once in a while. So you guys can understand, because I'm using uh, royalty-free music, there's only so much music out there that I can get a hold of. So it's not so easy to just get a bunch of music, but I will switch up the music from time to time as best I can. So... Thank you very much for the feedback. I appreciate it. All right, let's dock these two. And you can see I did color code them together. So let's go like this. Okay, so we got to make sure the connector is for the ship. we got to label these differently. Um, it is on. Okay. They should both be on. So let's go like this. They should turn yellow. Oh, it's not the connectors. It's the... Uh, it's the other thing about Bob's. Okay, so this should unlock that. Oh, that's right. Landing gear and connectors are a bit funny because landing gear uh, dis disables. Uh, landing gear is the P key, and so are the connectors. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. These don't look like they're connected, though. Uh, let's see. Okay. Well, landing gear is off, so let's let's see if we can fly this sucker. All right, and there we go. There's our ship. It doesn't look that bad, I guess. It's an interesting looking ship. Um, it's just a little long, you know. But uh, I don't know if there's many ways I could do things about that. I think it looks pretty cool. I might be able to spice it up a little bit later on, but uh, for now, that is complete. All right, so now we need to work with the connectors. So here's the connector. It's on. The lock is not working on either of these. So let's turn it off and then on. Off and then on. It is me. No share. Now, connectors are very buggy. This is the this is the most buggy thing of the game. 
Uh, they should be... They, basically, those two connectors should be yellow. And they should be connecting, but they're not. Uh, ugh. Let's make sure they're not connected properly. Uh, I gotta go in this. Basically, the, only, the way to test if they're connected is we look in... If we can see it. No, we can't. Uh, medium cargo container. I can't tell which one that is. Alright, well... I can't tell which medium cargo container is which. So, let's do a little bit of testing here. And see what's what. Okay. Just cargo containers? Alright, so... Nothing's in anything, obviously. We didn't put anything in yet. Alright, well, we could put something in. No, we can't because we don't have anything. Let's go get something. Ugh. I don't think it's working. Uh, those, Like I said, connectors are supposed to work in a certain way, and they are very buggy in my experience. So, uh, we'll see what we can do. Alright, so we can just put these in right here. Okay, medium cargo container 2 is kosher. Uh, medium cargo container 1 is kosher. Connector on the ship is ko yeah, kosher. Uh, medium cargo container 3, yes, but medium cargo container is not good because it is not connected because the connectors are messed up. Um, I'm going to try and get this to work one time. And if I can't, I'm going to have to pause the video and see if I can get it to work off camera. All right. The thing with these car, the thing with these uh, modules is you have to make sure they are docked before you disconnect, or they, the slightest bump will send them off into space. All right. So you're good there. Now we come over here. We go to the control panel. We go to the merging block, which we see. This is another problem. We didn't uh, we didn't name the merging blocks. So we're gonna turn this one off and see which one that is. All right. So merging block one is on the merging block one is on the module so i'm thinking merging block two and three can go with merging block ship so i'm assuming those two merging blocks are the ship merging blocks and we could do a block group merging block for the ship off and nope Nope, one was for... Wow, that's really weird. Okay, so... Alright, so we gotta delete that one. So we gotta go... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. Wait, wait. No, hold on a sec. Merging block ship. Okay. M-E-R-G. Okay, so these orange ones are... I'm assuming the module... So we can, we should be able to delete this, right? We should be able to delete the merging block ship. There we go. And then we take this one and this one. Why is it doing three? There we go. Okay. Merging block ship. Okay. And then, okay, so that should save. Okay, so emerging block ship off. That should be the ones for the ship. Okay, so we have one more that is not on. And basically what you want to do is you want to turn the merging blocks off on the ship only. You want to leave the merging blocks on the, the module connected. Which would be this one. On. Perfect. Oh, and of course now our connectors are connected properly. Can't make this stuff up, man. All right, merging block ships on. We should be okay. Now they're yellow. Whoa. Did I hit P or something? I don't know. That should be locked in. Now the problem is, again, the connectors, the things in the middle, the ones that you you use to transfer items from one one the module to the ship. Uh, to use that is P, and landing gear is P as well. I got a way around that, but for now it's going to be a little tricky. Okay, and we're locked in. So now I should be able to come over here, do this, there. Now I should be able to move the medium cargo into the into the medium cargo. I should be able to move this anywhere. Yes. Okay, and we are good to go. All right, let's do some grinding. All right, ship. I'm waiting a long time for this. 
All right. All right. So let's go right over here. We will take our grinding thingies, put those in a group. Grinders. Save. It should be at the top. There we go. On. Should be all three. And let's grind this sucker up. There we go. Alright, so this thing got knocked off, so we gotta chase it down a little bit. But, you know what? With three grinders, it's not gonna take that long. Alright, come on, you sucker. It's going to get knocked down into there. It should bump right up against it and stay in the area. Oh. All right. Not so easy. Got to be careful we don't grind our ship. Now we got you, sucker. Yeah, got you now. Now our, uh, our medium cargo container is filling up because everything that gets grinded is going right into it. Alright. Having stuff fall off is kind of annoying, but, you know, it's still pretty fast. Alright. Let's go grind some more, shall we? This is fun. I really like grinding. Alright. So let's get this stuff off the top. I also like, when possible, to... to Let's do stuff in the cockpit. I think it looks cool. Alright. After this, I'm going to take a second, and I'm actually going to take a screenshot. So, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And let's, uh, let's do a little more grinding. And then, uh... Go build something else. I got some ideas of something else I want to build. But, uh, yeah, this thing is... This thing is a monster. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, it's definitely effective. It's, you know, it wasn't that much to build. Everything's, really, uh, there's not much I don't like about it, to be honest. I mean, I ne like, nothing's ever perfect. I mean, there's always, like, something I could do to improve stuff, but I kind of like this ship. Stuff does get grinded out fast. Look at this, man. See what we got now. Look at this. This is all the materials we got from grinding. It's not bad. Uh, obviously, we're gonna make the welding ship next video, but after that, I might have to think about uh, making some kind of fighter that can take down uh, cargo ships and stuff, so I can go capture them and grind them up. Uh, I've never done that before. It's the one part of this game I really don't know anything about. Might might have to do some research on it. But, uh, yeah, that's what I want to do. My next thing is I want to go catch ships. Alright. Alright, so now we've grinded up quite a bit. Let's, uh, let's show you how we handle this. So what we do is we just grinded everything up. And, again, i got to name these cargo containers. But I do know that this is the cargo container that's on the, um... That's on the, uh, oh, what's it called? The module. So what I need to do is I need to get stuff from this cargo container into the cargo containers on the ship. And I know this one is one on the ship, so we just simply do this. Actually, could be the, oh, we could double click. Beautiful. Even better. Okay. And that's it. Everything's off the, everything is out of the cargo container on the module. And again, I'm going to need some place to park these modules. Uh, I'll have to think about that at a later date. It's not really that big of a deal, but um, it's something I'm gonna have to think about. And again, you want these modules to be hooked on to the deck so they don't float away. And P. 
hook that up and it also unhooked the connectors. So now we come over to the control panel, merging blocks on the ship off. And now we should be able to pull back. And there you go. Now, just to make sure, let's make sure, yep, everything's in our cargo container on the ship. It's beautiful. Now we could do two things with this, with this stuff on the ship. We can either dock it to the main space station and put it in our storage, or we can dock to our next module, which will be a welding. It'll be just like that, except we'll have welders instead of uh, grinders. And then, boom, we got everything in this ship. Everything we need to, to, to make other ships or space stations or whatever is all going to be housed on this ship. And that's when we get that stuff from grinding. It could not be simpler. Uh, it's done, yeah. So with that being finished, let's... I did take the landing gear off this, didn't I? I'm going to have to make a dock docking station for this. I didn't like the landing gear, but for now, we'll just turn it off and leave it right here. It's fine. And you will be turned off as well. You know what? That ship is a piece of crap. I'll have a place for that later. But for now, I'm going to just... Uh, this is going to be the docking station for this ship. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Okay. Anytime I go forward, man, these <laughs> having two of those big uh, thrusters just makes it rough. All right, we might have to make this uh, landing gear here a little bit tougher for this ship, but either way, it's fine where it is. It's not going anywhere. Yep, pretty sweet. All right, so what we're gonna do with our remaining time? Let me check my timer here. What we're going to do with the remaining time is we're going to go downstairs and actually, I spoke too soon. We are still going to need this ship right here. So let's uh, grab this over here. Okay. And we are going to actually uh, connect up our crafting area with our storage area. We're just going to connect everything. Alright, what am I going to need for that? We're going to need these, we're going to need these, probably only those two. So we're going to need, I'm not sure we're going to need to start with, let's just get in there. Alright, so I, I was worried that the stuff in the refinery would be like dumped out into a ship. Like if the refinery was hooked up to this entire setup and I had stuff spitting out automatically, then the refinery would spit out its, its own stuff. But that's not really true, because if you come over here and you look at... Uh, control panel for the refinery. You can actually have the refineries not use the conveyor system. So the problem with that is then they won't be moved into anything else. But it doesn't matter because stuff does not get automatically spit out. Uh, I was thinking that I could make stuff automatically spit out into my ships but I have not been able to make that work yet and I don't know if it does work. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. Uh, we'll deal with that later if it becomes a problem. What we're going to do is we're still going to hook these up. So, what we need is... Alright, so that's one... It's two blocks over. So the third block. So, one, two, three. This should be right under the uh, cargo container. And if worse comes to worse and ores are spit out through the conveyor system into my ship... I don't think they will be, but if they are, then I can just deal with it after that. It's not really a big deal. All right, we're going to need steel plates. Steel plates. All right, steel plates. Oh, that's right. I dumped all the steel plates in the other ship. Okay. That's alright. Doesn't really do much good in that ship until we have the, uh... I dumped all the steel plates into my, like, all-purpose ship. We, I need a name for that, guys. Help me out. But, uh, I dumped everything in there, and nothing really needs to be... Oh, is this gonna work? Six. Nope. Okay, well... Ooh, do I even have my drill on me? Yeah, I do, okay. I was gonna say, I haven't used my drill in quite a while. There you 
Get out of here, stone. I don't need you. I don't need you. Just in the way. There we go. Alright, so we can have this one go like this. And then like this. And then like this. Okay. Alright, I can get my ship underneath here, so let's do that. I'm not going to bother time-lapsing this because it won't take that long anyway. Oh, but there is... Okay. Alright, hold on. Let's let's do this. So this stuff's going to be in the way. That's going to be in the way. And... That won't be in the way. Okay. Let's get the ship. Normally I would just time-lapse this, but to be perfectly honest, it's not going to take that long. So... I really appreciate you guys uh, giving me the... Giving me the, the, you know, your feelings about the, uh, about the montage music or whatever, not mo whatever it's called, uh, time lapse montage, whatever you want to call it. I appreciate it. That was really cool. All right, come on, get that one. There you go. Come on, you got it. Do you not have what you need? It probably needs metal plates. Uh, 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 oh Jesus. I had a lot of metal plates on me, too. Man, I hate that. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's the wrong one, isn't it? Yes. Come on, cage. Right at the end of the video, let's not make this take forever. Okay, there we go. Alright, is that done? Yes. Okay, it has everything it needs. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so, um... Episode 26, guys. I'm, uh... I'm quite excited. Uh, next video, I am going to... Make the welding machine. Uh, or the welding, uh... The welding module for my ship. And after that, it's kind of up in the air. Uh, once I have my welding module and my grinding module... Man, I don't know. Uh, maybe a big ship? Uh, do you guys know anything about fighting ships like uh basically what i want to do is i want to fly out to these ships that are flying around and i want to destroy the turrets only i don't want to hurt the ship but you know that's very difficult from what i understand uh so i really just want to take out the turrets fly the ship back but then again if i fly a ship out there to do that well i could just leave a beacon on it if i'm making a big ship i could put a beacon on it um so what do you guys think i mean what do i need to you know take out only the guns on a big ship uh, the Imperator Pat told me if you have like automatic guns on your ship, on a big ship, they will, um, they'll target all different kinds of parts of the ship. They'll, they'll break parts off of the ship. And then after that, they'll, uh, like after they break a part off of the ship, they'll like, they will basically like shoot at the part that's floating away. Like it's, it's not a very smart system. Like the automatic guns on big ships are not very smart. And the last thing I want to do is when I'm going out to get a ship that I'm going to bring back and harvest, you know, I'm going to grind it up. I don't want my ship blowing pieces off of it into space, you know. I want the Gatling guns taken care of. I want to be able to get into the ship and, and steal it and bring it home. So, I'm not really sure how I'm going to handle that. This is all new to me. So, if you guys have any suggestions, I'm all ears. And uh, I'll do some research in the meantime. Uh, the reason I'm actually making you sit around and watch me finish this is because I want to make sure it's going to work. And, uh, I don't know. I think you should be here for that. We're almost done. Alright, come on, you. Alright. Alright, everything should be yellow. Let's turn the welder off. Yep, everything's yellow. Okay. All right, let's get in there. So I should have a bunch of stuff in here. It's yellow, right? I should have a bunch of stuff in here. Okay. And if I go like this, the only problem is... Oh, one thing that I noticed uh, 
earlier when I was talking about not being able to tell medium, uh, the medium, the containers on the ships from the containers on my base. The containers on my base are all small containers, and the ones on my ship are medium. So if I see anything on medium, I know that's what it is. And I just want to test this out to make sure it's going to work. I know small cargo container 13 is not any of these, so let me uh, just move something into there. Yeah. Okay, it's working. It's working! What movie is that from? Uh, all storage. Filter system inventories. Show all types of storage. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Assembler. Alright, so this stuff's on the assembler. So can we put this in there? Yeah. We can put anything anywhere. Yeah, it's connected properly. Yep. Okay, guys. Uh, in between this video and next, I'm going to... Well, first thing I'm going to do is replace the floor here. I'd like to give you guys little updates on what I'm doing between this and next video. So in between this video and next, I'm going to... Fix up the floor right here, but let me uh, make sure it's the proper color. <laughs> Whatever. I'll do that next video. Oh, uh, this is going to be seen. Oh, it's so ugly. Ah, uh, why is that? Ah. Uh, yeah, that's going to be seen no matter what. Nothing I can do about that. Anyway, between this and next video, I'm going to I'm going to fix the uh, floor right here, and I am going to come in here, and I'm going to name all of these cargo containers. And uh, I'm going to name all the cargo containers on everything. And hopefully I remember to do that. If I don't, don't get mad at me. But that's what I'm planning on doing. Anyway, um, this episode has been super long. So let me end it now. That's going to be it for episode 26. And we'll see you next time for episode 27. Until then, take it easy.